Mga gunita ng himagsikan Who is Emilio Aguinaldo? Emilio Aguinaldo was born on March 22, 1869 in Cavite, Cavite, son of Carlos Aguinaldo E. Hamir and Trinidad Fami E. Valero, a Chinese mestizo couple with eight children which Emilio was the seventh. The Aguinaldo family was quite well to do at his father Carlos was the community's appointed governor Silio or municipal governor. He attended high school of Caligueo de San Juan de Litran but he had to stop because of his father's death. He then took up the responsibility of helping his mother run their farm. At age of 17, he became the Cabeza Barangay of Binacayan. In 1895, the Maura law that called the reorganization of the local government was enacted. At 25, he became Cavite Vio's first governor Silio Capitan Municipal. Also, Emilio Aguinaldo was joined Katipunan and Jus Nan de Guerra Magdalo. He became the first president of the first Philippine Republic and the Bac Nambato Republic. Emilio Aguinaldo as President Emilio Aguinaldo was officially inaugurated as the first president and dictator of the Philippine Republic in January of 1899. Prime Minister Apolinario Mabini headed the new cabinet. However, the United States did not recognize this new independent Filipino government. President William McKinley offered as one reason the spacious American goal in debt, although Aguinaldo and other Filipino leaders were unaware of it initially. Spain had handed over direct control of the Philippines to the United States in return for $20 million, as agreed in the Treaty of Paris. Despite rumored promises of independence made by U.S. military officers eager for Filipino help in the war, the Philippine Republic was not to be a free state, but had simply acquired new colonial master. The second volume of would cover the resumptions of the Philippine Revolution against Spain and Philippine-American War. Aguinaldo wanted to correct history by making reference to the historian's beginning of the revolution. Also, Aguinaldo continued to be an outspoken advocate of independence for the Philippines. His organization, the Asociación de los Veteranos de la Revolución, or the Associations of Revolutionary Veterans, worked to ensure that former rebel fighters had access land and pensions. Aguinaldo's first wife was Hilaria. She was died in 1921. Philippine Independence Aguinaldo achieved independence of the Philippines from Spain and was elected the first president of the new republic under the Malolos Congress. He also led the Philippine-American War against U.S. resistance to the Philippine independence. General Emilio Aguinaldo was declared the Philippine independence on June 12, 1898. Philippines-American War Just two weeks after Aguinaldo's inauguration, an American century held the Philippine soldiers stationed at the San Juan Bridge and a gesture resistance against the new forms Philippine independence. On February 4, 1899, the Philippines American War exploded into action. Aguinaldo's revolutionaries quickly resorted to the guerrilla tactics, resulting in one of the bloodiest war in American history. But a later direct progress for Aguinaldo's in Hays Coast. Concerning the apparent utility on his effort in war, Aguinaldo said, I saw my own soldiers die without affecting future events. After three years of at war, Aguinaldo was captured by American General Frederick Houston, March 23, 1901. Philippine-Spanish War Back in Cavite, Aguinaldo forcibly set up a provisional dictatorship. After with the Malolos Congress and drafting a constitution for a new republic on June 12, 1898, Aguinaldo at last declared Philippine independence, announced from his hometown of Cavite Aguinaldo's proclamation path and end to four centuries of the Philippine oppression under Spanish colonial rule. In January of the following year, Aguinaldo was sworn in as the first president of the new self-governed Philippine Republic. Emilio Aguinaldo led a revolutionary movement against the Spanish colonial government in the Philippines. He cooperated with the U.S. and led a guerrilla campaign against U.S. authorities during the Philippine-American War. The last of the three excerpts is a hill longest and tackles several events in the revolution. A recorder at the arrival of Supremo Bonifacio and some of his men in San Francisco, Malabon, where he was welcomed with a wonderful party and regarded as 
the Haring Bayan, it continued with Aguinaldo discussing notable differences between the Magniwang and the Magdalo factions of the Katipunan, including the party main members and officials, territories, achievements, attitude, and form of government. It also provided the plan attempt to rescue Jose Rizal from his experience. The Battle of Pires de Marinas was a battle of Belfort's revolution. It occurred during the Committee of Physics of 1897, commanded by Major General Jose de la Cande under Governor General Camilo de Colavilla, as the Spanish aimed to recapture Cavite from Katipunan rebel control. Both the battle and the offensive was a success for the Spanish, and the retreat to Montalban occurred several weeks after the battle. The Philippine Declaration of Independence was proclaimed by Filipino Revolutionary Forces, General Emilio Aguinaldo, on June 12, 1898, and Cavite LVO. It asserted the sovereignty and independence of the Philippines Islands from the colonial rule of Spain. The Battle of Inus was the first major battle of the Philippines Revolution against the Spanish colonial government in the province of Cavite. It was fought between September 1 to September 3, 1896 at Imus Cavite province in the Philippines, right after Bonifacio's ill-fated attack on the gunpowder magazines at the Battle of San Juan del Monte in Manila. The Tejeras Convention The revolutionary leaders called the convention in a prior state residence in Tejeras, ostensibly to discuss the defense of Cavite against Spaniards during the Philippine Revolution. An 1897 power struggle in Cavite led to command of the revolution shifting to Emilio Aguinaldo at the Tierras Convention, where a new government was formed. Bonifacio was executed after he refused to recognize the new government. The Battle of Binacayan de la Hican was a simultaneous battle during the Philippine Revolution that was fought on November 9 to November 11 in 1896 that led to a decisive Filipino victory. The twin battle took place on the shore of Binacayan in the town of Cavite Viejo, also called Cavite El Viejo, and now Kawit. The Lahican in Dagatan and Novilita, and to minimal extent in Imos and Bacorn towns and Cavite. Philippines that lasted for two days before the Spanish army retreated demoralized and disarray. The result of the battle was the first significant Filipino victory in the country history. Philippine Revolutionist and Battle called Tagalog War by the Spanish, was a revolution and subsequent conflict fought between the people and insurgents of the Philippines and the Spanish colonial authorities of the Spanish East Indies under the Spanish Empire. Retreat to Montalban This is occurred during the Philippine Revolution after 1897 Battle of Naig, Southeast Cavite, when Philippine General Emilio Aguinaldo retreated to Puray, Montalban on June 14. Battle of Saputi Bridge was fought on February 17, 1897 as part of the Philippine Revolution. Filipino revolutionary forces led by General Emilio Aguinaldo defeated Spanish forces under the command of Governor General Camilo de Polavieja. In this battle, General Edelberto Evangelista was killed. Biak na Bato, signed on December 15, 1897, created a truce between a Spanish colonial governor general Fernando Primo de Rivera and the revolutionary leader Emilio Aguinaldo to end the Philippine Revolution. Emilio Aguinaldo died in Quezon City on February 6, 1946, that caused of coronary thrombosis and Veterans Memorial Hospital, now Veterans Memorial Medical Center. He was 94 years, 10 months, and 15 days old when he died. Aguinaldo scribbled a lot in his old age between 1928 and 1946. He produced in longhand the first volume of his memoirs, Mga Gunita ng Himagsikan, 1964, translated from the original Tagalog as Memoirs of the Revolution, 1967. In his preface, Aguinaldo says, the memoirs were based in a diary account his birth and early years, ending with 1897 Treaty of Biak na Bato. The following are the members of Magdiwang Councilor Organized. Magdiwang, Novilita, San Francisco de Malabon, Rosario, Tansa, Naik, Ternate, Maragondon, Magallanes, Bailen, Alfonso, Indang, and San Roque. 
Also Magdalo members, Cavite El Vijo, Imus, Desmariñas, Silang, Amadeo, Mendez, Nunez, Bacor, and the Carmona. Death of Bonifacio Brothers The Bonifacio Brothers were found guilty and sentenced to death. Aguinaldo commute the sentence of banishment. General Spio del Pilar and the Mariano Noriel persuaded Aguinaldo to impose the original sentence.